If you visited the Santa Monica Pier over the weekend, you may have noticed people breaking a sweat on stationary bikes. Well, they were doing it for more than just a good workout. Amy Paffrath joins us with more. Hi, Amy. Hi, good morning. Giselle, if you've ever gone to summer camp, we know it's a seminal time in a young person's life. And it's where actress and philanthropist Joyce Heiser Robinson discovered she wanted to act. Now she's providing that same opportunity for self-discovery to many more kids in Watts, thanks to Pedal on the Pier, an annual fundraising event at the iconic Santa Monica Pier. Summer is a vibe, and philanthropist Joyce Hines Robinson is feeling it. We introduced the summer here on the Santa Monica Pier. Pedal on the Pier is her nonprofit, the Harold Robinson Foundation's biggest fundraiser. It's extra special to be cheering on teams today at the 10th annual event because she says not being able to do so since 2019 because of COVID was devastating. This is where we raise most of our money. They say that there's a lot of philanthropic dollars out there. It's going to the big organizations. So she and her husband, co-founder Jeff Robinson, put pedal to the pier. Well, not them per se. They'll happily stay on the dance floor. As Joyce says, she's put in her miles on the bike. First two years, I did all 100 miles by myself. I wasn't able to walk for a week. Good thing there's no shortage of fitness enthusiasts and celeb supporters who are riding today to help the foundation bring in millions to support Camp Umbutu, a program that focuses on social emotional growth and personal empowerment and has impacted over 15,000 kids right here in the Watts community. Everything that we do at camp is basically a metaphor for the obstacles and challenges that you're going to come across in your life and how to ask for help, how to work together. Recapturing the magic and carefree feelings that come with camp is important to Joyce. The East Coast born actress grew up with a single mom and found respite in heading off to the woods sans her three younger siblings. Just not have to deal with the pressure of making sure my brothers were taken care of because my mom worked three jobs. A familiar story to the kids their programs serve, but as they say, opposites attract. And while Joyce had modest means, Jeff grew up with plenty of resources, ones he was eager to share. When he told me that he bought a camp and that his dream was to be able to provide an opportunity for kids who didn't have the same opportunities that he had, I was like, all right. This is it. This is love. <laughs> now, in 2022, the pair look on as teams of riders sweat in the sun on bikes going nowhere, but have the ability to take a child everywhere. If this kickoff is any indication, summer is off to a successful start. The Harold Robinson Foundation began as a scholarship program to send kids to camp and has grown into what it is today. You can learn more at HaroldRobinsonFoundation.org. I love it. Pedal on the pier. What else is the money used for? Well, great question, Giselle. This year, the event has a $1 million goal, and there's still time to donate. Those funds will send kids from 20 different inner city schools to Camp Ubuntu for an all expenses paid retreat, summer camps, and weekend programs in Watts. About 150 kids will attend the five week summer camp starting on June 27th. And HRF has vowed to continue to serve the Watts community no matter what. Their ultimate goal is to be able to teach the tools of the program and hand them down so future generations can pass them on as well. Well, you've lived up in the name of your segment, something good it's yes. something good thank, thank you, you Amy. <laughs> thanks friends